What's up folks? Hey man, we're on our way to Cornfield Fishing Gear and about twice a year I make this pilgrimage down here to Kentucky to talk to my buddy Mark and Nate and the whole group down there uh, to see what's coming out for the future. But we're actually going to be putting something on sickness. So the boat's about to get a little bit of a change and uh, I'm excited to share with what they're about to put on there because hey, you might be interested. I don't know. So definitely has to do with live scope. So stay tuned folks. This is going to be a fun one. We're going to be going to Cornfield Fishing Gear, talking to Mark, seeing all these mounts and what you could be adding to your boat in 2023. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Ooh, this sickness. And we just arrived at Corn Field Fishing Gear. Right there, folks. Actually, before we go in, I'm gonna set the boat up and show you exactly what we're gonna be trying to do today and uh, the change that's coming to sickness. I'm excited, I wanna share this with you. You probably saw it by the thumbnail, what's about to happen. I haven't been able to use my two live scopes yet because we haven't had this apparatus on and he's gonna go walk us all the way through it and the little fun addition that I think he's adding. Now those that watch the uh, tournament trails, you know that a lot of guys are using two live scopes now. And so I said, why not? I got a new boat, let's just try it out. And I've got two live scope systems, two block boxes in here. This is a 126 SV, it has, it's it's literally brand new, never been used. Got some dust on it though, apparently. But this thing has not been used. And that would be my partner's live scope system right there. And he's gonna be working off the Cornfield Fishing Gears pull mount. Now those that are new to uh, three pound fishing, my main monitor that I use is an 8616. This bad boy is about as big as I think you'd ever need. Um, I still think the, I still think the sweet spot is a 12 inch but a 16 inch just does it that much better. Now, the first impressions you're kind of like, wow, that's really big, but it's certainly something that um, you, get to, you get used to real quick. Now, why am I putting these on right now? The reason why is because I'm gonna put my chairs up next and I wanna get a real feel for what it's gonna feel like with this additional pull mount on my boat. Mark is gonna tell us all about this new hand scope that they've got here from Cornfield Cropper Gear. You guys gotta check it out. Speak of the devil, there the guy is. He's come out with it. What, Nick, what is this called, Mark? Uh, it's a hand-operated live scope pole. We're just calling it a pole mount. That's this part here. And then this part here is our over-the-side mount. That allows us to put either the hand-operated live scope or the live sweep over the side of the boat with this, this bracket here. He's also got something awesome that's gonna be able to allow you to take it completely off the boat and reattach it onto the boat anytime you'd like. So, and that's what we're working on today. That's what we're gonna be putting on sickness. I'll let Mark explain it so to you. So this, this is the base for the over the side mount. So this will just go in here like this and it locks down. And then that allows you to be able to rotate this. It allows you to take that off. And then the other part of this is you can turn it here, rotate this whole thing up and spin it around. We'll show that once we get it installed, how you can get it all up out of the way. But what we're gonna do in your application is we just got a base plate here we're going to bolt this base plate down and then that this base well the clamp base will mount onto that base plate and then when you're not guiding or you're tournament fishing what are we going to do you don't need this on the boat anymore you can just take the four bolts out and all you'll have is this plate on the floor and the reason why I did that is because I'm so limited on space in this particular corner that even having this, and this is this is really, what are these, four by fours? Yeah, they're four by fours. These are really, I hope that shows off how small those are, but they're actually very small. I just want to be able to remove that and just have that plate there so that the guests during guide trips have plenty of room up here in this corner. And it's it's all machined by us as everything else, all out of 6061, black anodized. This, this piece is a solid piece, and we got a bushing in here, then we make the clamp. And that all goes on like that. We'll get it installed on the Bass Cat here and then we'll show what it looks like and how easy it is to move and take on and off and all that kind of stuff. All right, before I show it to you, the finished product, I'm gonna walk you through Cornfield Crappie Gear real quick. You wanna show us anything in particular? Uh, we got tons of inventory now. We've been working really hard this summer. You know, it kind of slows down the hot month. So we've been working really hard to build more and more inventory so that we got everything on the shelves. We're trying to, when it comes back in January and gets really busy, we're trying to have everything on the shelf. But mm, I like everybody it. else, we're a bit shorthanded. I like it. So for you that just joined Three Pound Fishing and want to see some of the products that Cornfield Crappie Gear has, I'll kind of walk you through some of them. What's that one called? This right is there? the short swivel telescoping mount. Uses, I love that mount. Uses the same base that we're using on your setup right now. 
and same thing here you can loosen it up here and what we're doing on this one is you can rotate it so if the sun's bothering you a little bit i know the garments are talking about a little bit of sun glare is a big issue so we can turn it a little bit to, to kind of kill that right and you can adjust the height right yeah or what i do is when i'm fishing with somebody turn it so they can't see where i'm at <laughs> and then yeah then it's got the height so we got this one by the way i really love that mount that that and right then we there got the awesome. taller version so we got these two very nice and then re the regular telescoping mount that we had before we're still building those. a lot of guys just like to have that one it's a little bit more economical friendly if they don't need all the that and then the rod launcher that one we built just for the heck of it many years ago man that's been something yeah. everybody likes that one i got two on my boat we're putting them on everything so the idea is you're, yeah. just, you're just putting your fishing pole yeah, straight put them in, in there like that and then you can put them in there and stand them straight up that's awesome. Works really good. Yeah. A lot of guys like that one. That's a space saver, really. Yeah, it is. It is. It does. That's what it is. And then what's that one there, Mark? So this is our, what we call our uh, vertical rod rack. I don't know why I named it vertical. The rods lay down horizontal, but it goes on the side of the boat. This one will hold 10 rods. This version holds eight rods. Uh, you can use two. If you're running anything over 12 footers, you need three. Kind of helps set them up. Set these up anywhere on the, on the bow of the boat on the side and then we got the holes in the backs an inch apart so you can adjust it up and down to get your holes level or whatever you want to do there all right so we'll start working on the boat we'll come back to you we'll show you some other products after we're done with that but uh i want to show you guys this new setup two live scope systems on sickness can't wait to show it to you so we got to customize the, the the height is uh been shaved down quite a bit which is gonna be really nice and now we're just uh, deciding on the positioning of the plate and again this plate is gonna always be there It was funny when you called me on this. I'll show you the other application of what we're working on. We're doing it was a little bit different than this, but this plate will do this too. So we'll have this plate to go for two applications here shortly. But I'm going to add these two holes that we just added this morning. I'm going to add those in when I go to make them production so that they won't be silver like this. They'll be black like the rest of them. So again, it's all about having a clean floor, open, keeping everything open for everybody that's sitting in the boat during uh, guide trips really is. This is the setup. Mark, we're up, just run through what you just did in terms of like where you positioned it. All right. I'll try to give the, everybody so, a good view of it. Like you said, on your, on your particular setup here, a little close in the nose on that. These are absolutely fantastic boats, but it's a little close on the nose for two fishermen. So that's no big deal. We're gonna work on that. So we got your base on the floor here that's gonna stay. Then we put the base, the clamp base for the over the side mount. This here's the over the side mount. Inside the over the side mount, we're going to put the hand operated pole so we're clamping on here we're turning so this goes in like this this knob comes around goes in the groove and tightens up on the thumb part it's basically a bird hand it's two fingers and a thumb that's what we're holding it with right here it's a vice so i can put that in there like that now you can take this and loosen that knob and move it here if you need to be so it's set like that. Is that easier for you to use or your customer that you're working with that day? So what's cool about that, he's absolutely right. So as a as a guest or my, my fishing partner, he can have now a choice of whether he wants the handle right here in front of him. He can actually lower it, getting it out of the way. But even so, go ahead and loosen that one down there, swing it around. So now if, you can take this and swing it around like that. So if I chose to fish like this, here. I could be fishing like this. And with, and with my left hand, do three positions for the handle you can take the handle out and put it over here if you want to if you want if you want it on your side but you want the handle out here we can just take the unscrew the handle and put it over here and it's getting, i like the machine it. an arrow on the top obviously you're going to line the transducer up with the arrow so that when the arrows wherever the arrow's pointing is where your transducer's looking so now what i what i really tried to do on the over the side mount to make it the best i can make it is there's a lot of parts going on here so we can loosen this knob here now we can swing this up like that, loosen this one on the bottom, and swing it around. Yours, the seat post is going to be in the way. On most of the boats, if you put it back here, it swings around and it sets up on the deck out of the way. Or you can just take this off and set it over here, or set it up here, strap it down, or whatever you're going to do with your cable still connected. Or you can leave that 
tightened up there and take that one loose and take the whole thing off that way. That's awesome. And put on now all you got this on the floor. Now if on your particular setup with the add-on base underneath we can take I mean that's a little bit more work to take those out but you can take those four screws here out and take that off. Most people just leave that on the deck. It's not that big a deal. But with Which I'm going to try. Which I'm going to try. But your tournament fishing and stuff it may be in the way. On all day you know two or three days or whatever on the water tournament fishing that might be a problem for a foot or something so you can put that back in there like that. So my whole goal on designing this was when it's not in use and it's up on the deck of the boat absolutely nothing is sticking over the side of the boat because i don't know about you but me if there's something sticking over the side of the boat i'm gonna have it tore off sooner or later i'm gonna forget about it or get in a hurry or something and next thing you know it's broke gotcha I, I just me i can't help it so this is our wire puck cornfield fishing gear wire puck and what we're using it for is right here so you can pull wires out and clean it all up uh, we were rigging Big Dean's boat, you know, Dean from Cornfield Fishing Gear. We were rigging up his boat with live scope and everything. He had so many wires coming out of that console. He's got an older Ranger like mine, uh, early 2000s model. And we had, before this, we had several of those little chrome, little V-looking shaped things that the wires come out on. And they weren't big enough to get the live scope wire through very good. And we had like five or six of them up there to get all the wires coming out. And I thought it looked terrible, but... That's all we had to work with. So I, I sit down and come up with this. When you get it, it'll come in a box like this. And it's actually two pieces. We got a lid and we got a bottom. And we got the bolts to bolt it down with and a grommet. The grommet's for your aluminum boats. You can drill an inch and a half hole with a hole saw, pop this grommet in, and that takes that sharp edge from the aluminum that you drilled through and keeps from chafing mm, your wires as you're yeah. pulling in. The lid bolts onto this piece so once you get this piece bolted down you can take the lid off and you run all your stuff through there and then when you're done you just put the lid on it next time if you got to do something else you don't have to take the whole dash and all that stuff apart to get to it you just take the lid off and run your wires through and then put the lid back on yeah, and i made it i wanted to make it round and look real smooth and everything i was inspired by what the hummingbird and lawrence gps pucks looks like and they look nice on the boat smooth no square edges no sharp edges none of that so it's a little bit of work because it's two pieces and the plastic's gotten really expensive but we sell the heck out of these things it really makes a nice clean install when you go to do something all right We've had a lot of people with questions on this and that. So what we've done is when I made this knob for the vice part of it here, it's got a lock nut in the back and all the lock nut is for us. So when you thread it in there like that, it'll stop and you can't thread it out and lose the knob. So the knob comes around like that and that comes out. You don't want to put it this way and put the lock nut over here. It goes around like this and your knob slides through the groove and go, it's machined out for the knob to fit. Goes in there like that. Nice and tight. And tightens you right up. Piece All of right. cake. And then you also had something you wanted to share on this on the base there. Is it the same deal? Yeah, same thing here. Okay. Same lock nut here, same lock nut here. Everything's it's the same all over. That way, when you thread this out, watch the lock nut. See that you thread it out, it goes all the way up like that and stops. So that this won't fall out. Okay, I got you. And then that goes just simple I enough. I just hated to see somebody screw one out too far on the water and lose the knob into the lake and then you're done. You know what I mean? So I, hear you. I tried to think that out. All right, Mark, do me a favor. Tell me where they can get this, the name. Is it a whole package deal? There you it's, go. It's on the webpage at Cornfield Fishing Gear and you can get it as a package of the over the side mount and the, the pole mount, or you can buy them individually. We actually have another over the side mount for like a John boat that'll bolt onto the gunnel and it's a little smaller. But for most of your boats, this is the setup because it's going to reach over. And we cut this one down for Matt for the short, but we got a longer tube here for the guys with the deep V so we can get over the gunnel and back down. This pole comes in two different lengths, so we need to know if you got a deeper V boat, we obviously want to go with the one that's 10 inches longer than this one. And then you still got some adjustment here with these two collars. You can take the silver tube and drop it down if you need to or bring it up. And then you got adjustment here where you can set this anywhere you want as long as it vices on this black tube. Right. you got adjustment there and then you can snug these up a little bit and that helps tighten it a little if you think it's too loose inside the bushings so how long is this pole here uh that one's 53 inches long and, and the other one's 63 inches long okay so and it's not all, all the way extended down obviously you no. bring by bringing this up here and yeah, actually bringing yeah. this down yeah, you here can, you can you just can quickly actually... there's 10 inches right here you can drop that down there and you just gain 10 inches and for where you're sitting that's probably going to work but you can also do this here where you can you can adjust it up and down here if that's still too tall you can shorten it down a little bit right here. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. 
partnered up with these fantastic companies.